Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Oz Truly. I'm just in Preston Cemetery just having a nice little stroll. Very, very quiet it is too. It's nice and therapeutic just to have a little stroll. Despite the wet weather. Well, I'm be business is nearly there. I'm uh, just looking for customers now, but I'm going to be going with my support tomorrow um, to do some questionnaires and ask people if they're interested. I'll eventually get some customers. I can tell you some of my relatives are buried in this cemetery. Um, We'll go and have a look at uh, Nana Dorothy's grave. That's me, late great grandma. You might have seen the photo of her on my mum's birthday video. So she's just buried not far off now. A nice little quiet, therapeutic stroll in the cemetery. Hello, Nana. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in the cemetery. Little flowers here. And two graves down. This is my great grandad's parents, which is say, William Stronach and Mary Ann Stronach. Nana Dorothy used to make everybody laugh and smile. I remembered her when she used to terrify me and the girls with her false teeth. <laughs> I know you're up there saying, don't tell them that! <laughs> Aye, Grandma's doing alright. Now I've just spotted a late relative's grave here. Um, this is on my dad's side of the family. So, great uncle Mel, that's my late grandfather's brother. Meldrum Shipley passed away 1st of June. And Lillian, my great auntie Lillian, passed away months later. And may you be reunited and enjoy life up there. It's very fascinating to <clears throat> take a look around the cemetery and see if you can spot any relatives who are buried here. I know there's more to come, so let's have a little another stroll. Fascinating enough, I've just spotted um, the headstone of um, one of my old nannies from Waterville School, Miss Cato. I remember Miss Cato, she was funny. God bless your soul, Hilda. Now I'm off on a mission to find Nana Dorothy's parents, my great great grandma Alice Thurgill and my great great granda Thurgill. My great great granddad Thurgill is called Richard and my great great grandma is called Alice. I've never met them, but I would like to visit their grave. And I know it's along this location somewhere, but I'm sure I will eventually track it down. 
I've got a good feeling that it's up here somewhere. I would be close. Now where could it be? I know it's on this location, I remember when I went here with my mum years ago on a tour. So we're looking for Thurgill. Where's Thurgill? So I think we'd better head back. I wouldn't have thought it's over there because that didn't sound quite right. <clears throat> Mum, if you watch this, I bet you'll be bloody screaming, it's all oh, further up that way, it's further up that way. <laughs> I must be getting hotter. I know it's around this location. Can I have um, the Thurgill family member's attention for one second? Um, I've just spotted the name William Thurgill there. I know that um, my great granddad was richer, but um, is William Thurgill a relation to us by any chance? If you know the knowledge, uh, just comment on my Facebook video um, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Oh, you never guess what. After 45 minutes searching, I'm bloody knackered, <laughs> but I've found you. So this is Nana Dorothy's parents. So my great-great-grandma Alice Thurkel was born in 1891 and she died in 1950. And below is great great granda Richard Thurkel and he died in 1965. Nice beautiful roses on the gravestone. Finally I find you. <laughs> May you all rest in peace. Well, I'm off home now after a nice little stroll. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, goodbye.